communicate regularly with your child so that you can monitor their mental health and discuss with them any support that they might find helpful. Children who find it difficult to talk may find it easier to speak on the phone or to text or to write a letter. Remember to lock away any medication, particularly if you have any concerns that your child is a risk to themselves. Try involving your child in planning a daily routine. This should give some structure to the day and also allow them to know what is expected of them. Don't feel that you have to recreate the school environment though. There may be times at home when you don't want to be disturbed because you have work commitments. Discussing this in advance with your child so that they understand when and why these situations may occur may make it a bit easier all round. Regular exercise and time outdoors is a great stress buster for adults and children alike. They may become withdrawn or you may notice a change in their behaviour, perhaps becoming more clingy or more naughty than usual. Poor sleep and bedwetting can sometimes occur, along with physical symptoms such as headache or tummy ache. being open and honest with them about why we have to stay indoors, why sometimes people might be wearing masks and gloves, uh, will help remove some misunderstandings which can cause more anxiety. Try and monitor what children are, are reading on the news and social media, and also try and give your children a little bit of a feeling of control. Ask them how they would like to be supported when they are feeling anxious during this time. One example is a self-soothe box where the child will fill a container of things that will comfort them when they're distressed. It could include things that are distracting, like colouring books, jigsaws, um, or a, a comforting toy. For an older child, again, keeping a diary um, is very good. It can, they can write down when they're feeling anxious, what they were doing at the time, and then the family can use this to identify patterns and triggers to help manage situations when they occur. Some children find um, sensations can, um, can help. So for example, holding an ice cube when they're feeling anxious, when they've got anxious thoughts or anxious feelings. Um, this focuses the mind on the coldness rather than on the thought that's distressing them. Acknowledging that we're all in this together and ensuring that we do take the time to communicate with friends and family. Reminding ourselves why we're doing this also, remembering some of the positive things that have been happening may be helpful. Finally, looking towards the future and making plans for what we will do once this time is over should give all of us a good sense of purpose. <laughs>